Google will hold a virtual event in just a few days for the Pixel 5 and Pixel 4 5G. The phone will reportedly be powered by the Snapdragon 765G and they will share identical dual camera setup. The Pixel 4 5G's price of $499 is already known and the Pixel 5 was previously expected to be priced between $649 to $699. John Prosser, who is usually known for Apple stuff leaking, sometimes Pixel, now claims that the phone will retail for $699. He's pretty confident about that. The price tag could be a downer for too many of us. The Pixel 5 will not offer something really cool over the Pixel 4 a 5G. The dissimilarities are Pixel 5's 90Hz screen, 8GB of RAM as opposed to 6GB on the Pixel 4 a 5G and a slightly larger battery with support for the wireless charging and Gorilla Glass 6. Is it enough to convince you to pay a $200 premium? For me, it's not. Let's not forget the Pixel 3a was the best selling Pixel in 2019 by huge margin compared to the Pixel 4. Now if you are thinking of competition, the newly revealed Samsung Galaxy S20 FE offers high in specs for $699. The iPhone SE 2020 which has similar flagship chip as the iPhone 11 starts at $399 and unfortunately even the upcoming iPhone 12 may start at $699 or less and the baseline OnePlus 8T could retail for $599 in Europe and somewhere between $650 to $700 in the US. The biggest draw of Pixel phones is the camera and this could have worked for the Pixel 5's favor if the upgraded camera system was exclusive to it. There are tons of mid ranger who will also compete with the Pixel 5 just because of this camera setup. British retailer John Lewis has accidentally published images of the unannounced Pixel 4a 5G too. The Pixel 4a 5G is gonna be the choice for many of us. Google has selected a bigger 6.2 inch OLED panel for its smartphone rather than a 5.8 inch used on the Pixel 5. It will have a Full HD Plus resolution as well and a white colored contrasting power key. Whereas the front of the Google Pixel 4a 5G looks virtually identical to the cheaper 4a. Now this phone comes with a 12.2 megapixel primary camera coupled with a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle shooter that supports 107 degree field of view. The Pixel 4a 5G supports 4K video at 60 fps and a 1080p video at up to 240 fps. It also offers dual pixel face detection autofocus. Optical image stabilization is there too. That's a good point. Now in terms of front camera, it will have a 8 megapixel unit. As with all the Pixel smartphone, Google's brilliant night side feature will also get an improvement. The similarities of the Pixel 5 continues on the inside, as I said, because Google has fitted the Pixel 4a 5G with the same Snapdragon 765G processor. It is not as powerful as the Snapdragon 865 that powers most of Android flagships today or A14 Bionic that will power the iPhone 12, but it's still a very capable chipset and enables 5G connectivity. This phone will have a 6GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage, and the phone will come with Pixel experience on top of stock Android 11 out of the box. Nice. Other features include 3800mAh battery that supports 18W fast charging but no wireless charging technology. And there is a 3.5mm headphone jack too. Now the Pixel 5 will have larger 4080mAh battery with compatibility for wireless and reverse wireless charging. The Pixel 5 will probably be IP68 rated and it is also expected to be slightly lighter than the Pixel 4a 5G. Google will announce both the Pixels next Wednesday. Shipments should start next month. The Pixel 4a 5G is expected to arrive in black only. The white is delayed for some unknown reason. The Pixel 5 however will arrive in black and a subtle green color. I really like that one. But the Google Japan Twitter account has jumped the gun on the Pixel 5 pre-order announcement as spotted by 95Google. It says the phone will cost around $700 in Japan. To recap, the Pixel 4 was launched for $852 in Japan. Now, the direct currency conversion is usually not a good idea. Similarly, the Pixel 4a cost $400 in Japan. It retails for $349 in the US. So do some calculations on your own. Anyway, if you want to see more episodes like this, please hit the like button. Please do subscribe or watch my other videos. Bye and take care.